Hello Indians! This is Miss Fliss. Today I'm going to show you how to marble paper. These are the things that you need. I am using thick paper because um, I have it, but any paper will do. Um, you can use plain computer paper if you want. The important thing is that you want to stack and you'll see what I mean because each piece comes out different. So then you need a can of um, shaving cream and you can get this at any grocery store or convenience store or Walgreens and stuff like that. And then you need food coloring. I have neon and then I have your basic colors. You get this um, in the spice aisle I found at Publix. I'm not sure about the other grocery stores but um, the spice aisle or the baking aisle, I believe, because a lot of people color frosting. And then you need a plastic card or a piece of cardboard that you don't really care about. And I have water in this bowl, and that's to um, dip my card. So what you want, oh, and you need a fork or something else to make your marks and your shaving cream. I'm going to use a spatula and a fork for mine. You can use a pencil, anything that you can make a mark and the shaving cream you can use. Oh, you can even just use your fingers, but that's really messy. You're gonna start off by putting in your shaving cream. So I'm putting it in, and this is kind of the last of it, so, but we're going to make this work. Alright, see if I can get some more in there. Alright, I'm going to um, take my fingers and kind of plop it down like so. Spread it around. Then I wash my hands real quick. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, use my food coloring. So we're going to put droplets in here. Got blue, green, pink. I'm gonna make sure I don't mix it too much because pink and green are complementary colors. That means side by side they look good, but really mixed up, not so much. I'm gonna take my fork and I'm gonna go in and I'm going to swirl it. Like so. If you have a lot of white, you want to go ahead and put some more color in there because if you have a lot of white, that's what it's going to print. And then you continue. Alright, so I have my shaving cream. I am then going to take, I want to make, get that blue a little mixed up in there. I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to put it down like so. I'm going to smush it and then I'm going to peel. What are you going to do? You're going to peel. I'm going to set this aside so I can show you what happens. I have my piece of paper and I'm going to scrape the excess shaving cream off and you are left with a marble print. So the reason I said you want to make sure that you have a lot is you, you know, sometimes it doesn't come out like you wanted. 
So, and you set up all this, you might as well make more than one. And um, for our first part of the project, this is good. This is a good background and add, an easy way to add some color to your piece. <clears throat> And the best part of this is you don't have to be an artist for this to come out right, this part. So, well, really the second part. All right. So I'm going to do a second one. I'm going to put my um, thing in. Again, I'm going to use my whisk to kind of mix it up again so I have something different than last time. I'm going to put that shaving cream back down, put my whisk in the water, and then I am going to, I'm going to print on cardstock this time. Um, if you have cardstock, you can print on both sides. So if you don't like one side, you can print on the other. So I'm going to squish it in there like so. And then I'm going to peel. All right. And then I have my uh, shaving cream. Well, it looks like a mess right now, but once I scrape it, we're going to find a beautiful marbled piece. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scrape it. And there we go. We have a beautiful marble plate piece. All right, so this is your first step. If you want to do this, it is optional. I do realize there's a lot of steps and equipment involved, so that is completely up to you. If you do do this part, I will give out um, 10 extra credit points. So it if you had a grade earlier that you just rushed through and you want to make sure your grade is the best you can be, you can do this part and I will give you 10 extra credit points. So, <clears throat> all right, Indians, I hope you enjoyed my demo. Until later, bye!